Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In the beginning of this year I made a plan to pan video with 40 makeup products that I wanted to use up. I thought it would be 50 but then I counted after I made that video and I was like oh these are only 40. So I am trying to finish more because I really want to get to the 50 mark which uh, I think I am going to actually. This is my progress. Like, look at this. These are all of the products that I wanted to finish and I have ticked off quite a lot of them. So let's go through them. The first four products are mascaras and I have them in here because I want to remind myself of actually not using them more than the six months that they should be open. Uh, so in Sweden, at least, we have this kind of mark at the bottom where it says how long a product can be open and for most mascaras it is six months. So for the first half year I have used one regular mascara and one waterproof and now I've switched them out for one other waterproof and one other regular one. Uh, so I have been working on one from Hiccup and one from Sandstone so these are out of my collection now and now I'm working on the Essence Volume Hero and the Anastasia one. So those two I am still working on. Then I wanted to finish some eyeliners and it's kind of the same thing. We have two liquid eyeliners, one that I have used for a half year and this is now rolling out and I have also this one that I've been working on. This is the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner in Black uh, from Ico. The other one was from Bang Beauty. And I also have one retractable one that it's so little left, but uh, yeah, I really have to remind myself to use this. I am using it mostly in my brows because it is getting very dry, so it's hard to get a, a nice line for like an eyeliner, so that's why I'm using it in my brows. As well as the fact that it is a brown eyeliner and I don't use that too much uh, on my eyelids, but those two are still in the game. Then we have two pretty large setting sprays. One was from L'Oreal. I have used this one up. This was mattifying. And then we have the professional one and I just used this up as well. So a little bit of a spoiler for another project, but those two are empties. So if I finish another setting spray, it's just going to be a bonus. Those were the two that I thought I could use up. Then I wanted to finish three foundations, one sample, and I have used this one up from Glowish. I've also used up the one from Yves Rocher. Maybe it doesn't look like it, but it is an empty. And then I've been working on this soft, dewy, hydrating foundation from Makeup Mecca. I am very close to be finishing this off, so I have no worries regarding this one. This will certainly be an empty by the end of the year. Last year, I think I finished three primers, and this year I really wanted to challenge myself by picking five primers to try to pan. Now these are smaller ones and that is why I thought I could do it. So let's start with a Jane Iredale one. This was only a few mils, seven mils. I'm done with that one. We have the Smashbox Primerizer Plus. I'm finished with that one. We have one from Essence with SPF 20 in it. I am finished with this one. And I also use this HD Active Performance Primer with SPF 30 from Catrice. This is finished as well. And the last one that I've been working on is from Supergoop, the Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 30 in it. I am working on this one. I don't see any reason why this shouldn't be an empty by the end of the year. Next up we have two palettes, one face palette and one eyeshadow palette. Now I've never actually finished a palette before, so this was something new and I didn't know if I could do it, but I'm happy to announce that the eyeshadow palette is an empty. It is gone. I just finished it, so you will have seen this in my Panda palette already, so it's not a spoiler, but yeah, it went a lot quicker than I thought. It took me a half year since this is the mid-year update um, and yeah I'm so happy to have finished a whole palette that is insane and I've also finished this cheek trio from Real Her now I have already repressed something into here another highlighter but the original product is gone so this is an empty too I'm so stoked about some of these empties. It's kind of crazy to see all of the products and know that I've actually finished more than half. Quite a bit over half. 
But let's move on to some other face products. We have a mini bronzer from Ciate London. It's broken, but as you can see, it's an empty. So that is good. And we also have a cream highlighter. I've never finished a cream highlighter before, I think. A liquid one, but not a cream one. Um, and as you can see, I do still have a little bit left, but there is so little left in here. And I think maybe I can even finish it this month. Now let's move on to the powders in here. I wanted to finish this very old Glow Minerals mini one. It's called the Perfecting Powder. And I finished that one up quite a while ago. And then I finished this one as well. Actually, I think I finished this one first, then I went over to this one. And now I will begin using this Hourglass powder. This one is very small. I think it's 0.9 grams. So yeah, it should be easy enough to use that one up. But two are gone, one is staying. For my brows, I wanted to finish kind of one of everything. So I have a brow gel, a brow pencil, and a brow mascara here. Now, this one is from Makeup Mecca. This is the Easy Peasy Brow Gel. I liked it. It wasn't too harsh. It didn't feel like a glue or something. It just kind of formed my brows a little bit and I actually really liked it. So I might consider rebuying that, but it is an empty. Then we have the Brow Mascara from Catrice that I have had open for maybe two years. And now I feel like it's so hard to get anything out uh, that I am considering this to be an empty. And the last product is an eyebrow pencil, and I just finished this one as well. So I am actually done with all of my brow products, which is amazing. And then let's move on to concealers. I have one that I just finished up from Isadora. This is also really, really old. Uh, so I, I didn't really want it on my face, so I used it on my body um, to kind of smooth out lines from tanning, you know? But that one isn't empty. I'm so glad to have that gone. Now, this one is kind of worrying me, kind of not. I don't know if I should be worried or not, but this is also from Isadora. It's also a concealer, but not a powder one. It's a cream one. So um, I'm down to, it seems like I'm down to here. So there's not a lot left, but this is really high coverage. And it looks a little bit too maybe yellowy on me. I, I don't know. But I do find that sometimes when I record, I really want high coverage. So sometimes, especially if I use like, if I would use this one, this is a very light one. It's, um, it's a very low coverage foundation. So if I would like to use this, I would like to have another like a concealer or another like stick foundation or something on top to have a little bit more of a good coverage. So this one did the job several times. So maybe this is how I will use this up because on its own, if I just use it underneath my eyes or just to try to spot conceal, the shade doesn't really match the foundation shades. So it mm, doesn't really work that well. But this one is staying and I, I think I can use it up as, as a foundation. Then I had two eyeshadow bases or primers that I wanted to finish. The first one being this Essence Eye Heart Stage eyeshadow base. Love this one. It is an empty. And I wanted to finish this Beauty Crop Stuck On You uh, eyeshadow base as well or eye primer. I think I already had a pan when I showed you this in the beginning of the year. And now it's looking like this. So I think the pan has expanded just a little bit, but I can see that the dip is so much bigger. I'm not sure I can actually finish this until the end of the year. There's so much in this, but I do think I can finish off a lot of it and maybe finish it next year, if not this year. This is one that I kind of gave up a month ago or so. Um, but now I've been using it and since I can see that kind of huge dip going on, it is kind of raising my hopes again. So I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. What do you think? Uh, like I would love to say yes, but I am very uncertain. And I've also been finishing off another eyeshadow base in the meantime. This doesn't fit everything, you know, it's, it's good for making shimmers stick but it does crease after a while so i don't think it's 
the best base. So that's why I'm altering between different products. If I'm only going to record or if I'm going to have makeup for a very short time, this is great. The last products I wanted to finish for 2023 are lip products. Let's start off with the lip balm slash butters. This is the lip butter from The Body Shop in Strawberry. I have been using this for like two years and it's finally gone. I finished it up a few months ago, so uh, I've had it as an empty for a while, but it was such a nice moment when I actually finished this. So, so nice. I've also been finishing up this Nanic lip balm. So this is just packaging, what you can see here. So that one is gone as well. I also had a color changing lip balm from Essence. This is so cute. I have finished this one off as well. So it's been going really well in this department. I have another lip balm. I just found it for this video and now it's gone again. Like I used it tonight. I placed it somewhere, I found it, and I sat down to film, I thought I had it with me, and now I just don't know where it is again. <laughs> I don't think it's been this hard to find products ever in this uh, panning journey. <laughs> but anyway, that one is not done, and it is a little bit more like hard pressed, let's say, so I think I can use that a lot more than the other ones, unfortunately, in one way, because I do want to finish it, and fortunately in another way, because that one is smelling really, really good. Uh, so I'm glad it's that one instead of one of the other lip balms. So there's that. I wanted to at least finish off two glosses this year. Both of these are really old, so they're kind of my oldest products. So I really wanted to get them out of my collection and maybe just play around with a lot of other things as well. And this is the Laura Key Lip Service in Pink Champagne. I have finished this one off. It wasn't that hard. I used it up in like two or three weeks maybe. And then the other one is the Watershine Gloss from Maybelline. This is how it looks and I am so close to being done. I have taken the stopper out. I am using the last bit of it. I hope to be able to use it up this month, but we'll see. I am trying to use it every day, but you know, you never know. <laughs> so that one is staying. Then we have two lip pencils, or to be correct, one lip crayon and one lip pencil, but in my inventory, it's the same. Um, really, I brought these in and said that I wanted to finish one of them, but then I had both of them kind of written down as two different products in here. Anyway, I decided to try to use this one up. This is the lip crayon from Nude Sticks, I think they're called. It's in the shade Posh, and I have used it up. And it's such a lovely shade. I love it so, so much. I wouldn't mind having it again. I wouldn't mind trying to pan this again. It's so, so nice. Uh, and then we had the Lord and Berry. This is the made to measure lip color. I might have used this enough to sharpen it like once or twice or something this year, uh, but not really more than that. I think it's really hard to finish off pencils, uh, like wooden pencils, whether they be lip liners or uh, an eyeliner or a brow color, like wooden pencils are really, really hard to pan. So I'm glad I said I wanted to just finish one of them and the other one I just wanted to get some use out of uh, because that's what's going to happen. I don't foresee myself using this one up at all this year. And last but not least, we have a little lipstick. It's very mini, but that's kind of all I could do. And I so wanted to play around with all of my other lipsticks and, you know, really get to know my collection a bit more. So I have used this one up. It was kind of a mauvey, dark pinky, purpley tone, and it kind of shifted depending on what I was wearing on my eyes. Sometimes it was really purple, sometimes it was more of a mauvey tone. But anyway, I did use this up. So as you might have been able to figure out, I have finished a lot more than I have left. So let's look at all the things that I've used up. And if I actually take these two away, maybe you can see more. <laughs> So I've been using all of this and these are the things that I have left plus a lip balm. So I have 13 products to work on out of the 40 that I started out with. The only things I am a little bit worried about is 
this um, eyeshadow base because there's so much in here. Uh, I don't foresee myself using this at all. Um, well, I will use it, but I won't finish it. And I'm not that sure about this concealer, but all of the other things, I don't think there should be any problem using those things up. That's just my prediction. So like I said, I have been adding a few products to this list because I want to get over 50 products done this year. And I, I was looking at all of my empties and my makeup empties and I realized that I have already finished. Well, maybe I haven't finished over 50 products yet, but together with this list, I think I've actually finished 12 other makeup products. And when I say makeup products, I count makeup removers because I wouldn't use them without makeup. So it's kind of a makeup routine to take off the makeup, if you know what I mean. So micellar waters and cleansing balms, I, I count as makeup. I also count nail polishes as makeup since they are actually changing how your, uh, how your nails look. Most nail polishes don't make your nails look natural right? You're making up your nails. So it's like makeup for your nails. It's not skincare, you know? So with the nail polishes that I've finished and all of the cleansing bombs and stuff, I, I'm pretty sure I will get over 50 products done. So this was everything for this video. I just thought it would be a good idea to check in on where we are, see that I'm actually using all of the products, that I have a plan um, for the rest of the products that I'm planning. And I do. I think all of these are either in projects or I'm using them like the mascaras. I don't put mascaras in projects anymore because it's not fun to follow, you know, because you can't really see the progress, right? So some of these products won't be in projects and they were never meant to be. But I think all of the products that should be in projects are. So that's good. And seeing all of the progress, and again, this is how this looks. Um, so I've been just crossing off with different colors uh, what I've been finishing. And just looking at this makes me very happy. Looking at all that I've achieved so far in the year, it makes me really happy actually. And even though I am keeping track of what I'm using up and I have my beauty balance, I show you guys what I've finished and like I have lists and stuff, even though I've done that, it's been really fun to actually see all of the makeup that I finished just laying there in front of me and I can see how much it actually is. So uh, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say really. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this mid-year check-in. I hope you enjoyed this video and that I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening, bye.